how fast you will go over a 1.5 meter distance. Here we have all the equipment we need to build our buggy. Magnets have two poles, north and south. When together, they create a magnetic field. When a conductor carrying a current is placed between them, it creates a mechanical force pushing up or down depending on the direction. In a motor, this allows it to spin as the current forces are opposite. The battery contains chemical energy, which is turned into electric energy through the conductor. Then it creates kinetic energy in the coil, making the wheel spin. Energy is lost through friction. The problems we faced in making our buggy go to its maximum speed were friction, air resistance and weight. We fixed these problems by making it lighter, using less extra parts and making all the parts we added streamlined. For our second attempt to make the buggy go faster, we changed the elastic band as it was warm because of friction. To make our buggy even more streamlined, we added a cover with a nose on it. The time to beat is 1.65 seconds. Then, to improve our buggy, we changed the elastic band as it was worn due to friction. We changed the battery pack to a different position to make it more streamlined. And we added this cover with a nose on it to make it more streamlined as well. The last thing we did to modify our buggy was to tighten the screws up that joined the two sides of the buggy together to make it straighter. But how fast did it go? Our fastest time was 1.59 seconds across a 150 centimetre course. The course length divided by our fastest time is 94.3 centimetres rounded. Um, divide that by 100 and get 0.943. That will give us an average of about 0.94 metres a second for our fastest time. Thank you for watching our video, we really enjoyed building our buggy, please like.